six S for Kelly's or Kelly, Kelly. You see, I mentioned strong principle. They, all Kelly's are very, very strong principle. You know, whatever they believe in, they will always try and follow. Strong sense of duty. So very, very, very dutiful. That's why a lot of policemen, not a lot of people in the military, they're Kelly's. Why? Because they have a strong sense of duty. Strong sense of pride over to save their nations, to help their country. Strong sense of duty. Strictly follows routine. Very, very, very routinistic. So think of people in the army. So much routinistic, so disciplined, disciplinarians. Think of people in the who are cops, very disciplined, very routinistic, right? Strong sense of duty, strong principle. They love to live that routinistic life always. That's a very important feature of Kelly's. I wake up seven o'clock. I have my br I brush my teeth at seven fifteen. I have my breakfast at seven thirty. I go to work at eight. I reach my office at nine. I come out at five o'clock in the evening. This continues for their entire life. And they love living in their routine life. Right? The same routine life they enjoy. And what will happen when a Kelly Cup marries a sepia? <laughs> no marriage. Only divorce. Right? Because one is very routinistic and other doesn't want to follow a routine. Right? So... Kelly Cub is very, very, very routinistic. Serious and sincere. You see, it's very, very serious and sincere. Always very dutiful, duty-bound, routine-bound, very work-oriented. They love to follow their routine. They love to follow their duty. And they maintain the traditions. They maintain the customs. They want to maintain the values in the family. You are with me? Very, very serious and sincere. Strong sense of values. Do remember that's a very important thing for Kelly's. Strong sense of values. So, the values is very important. This is a common characteristic of the mineral kingdoms, but Kelly's has it the most. Very, very strong sense of values. They are very much hold on to the, you know, age-old traditions, age-old customs, age-old rituals. They love to hold on to that. You may call them dogmatic, but they still love to hold on that old traditions and customs. You know, they don't like the change in the world. They like that rituals of 500 years. They don't like those traditions of 200 years. They want to carry that in the family. So, you know, they don't want to break free. Quite orthodox. Orthodox, right? Strong mental control. Mind rules the emotions. So much, you know, very, very adamant about following the family, about following the routine, about following the tradition. So sometimes they don't, and they are not flexible. They become very inflexible, very rigid in one way. You understand what I mean? I'm sure you'll find people like this here as well. Very, very rigid. They have a good side, it's a bad side as well. What's the good side? You know, very dutiful, very sincere, very routinistic. So that's good qualities. But sometimes, whenever you need the change, they don't accept the change. They're inflexible. They want to hold on to traditions and customs that have no scientific value maybe today's world. That are not applicable in today's modern world. But they still like to follow that. That's why they become quite orthodox. Right? You know, people who are born in the 50s and 60s, or who lived, I'm sorry, who, had, who lived in the 50s and 60s, 1950s, 1960s, we find a lot of people like that, you know, very, very traditional, <coughs> try to maintain the customs, try to maintain the rituals. You know, post-World War era, people who were brought up in that, because there was very few necessities, you know. So they were brought up in an era when they had to live with the minimum. And now we have everything at our hand. But people who lived in the 50s, in the 60s, anywhere in the world, they had to be brought up with the bare necessities. And so they learned to live with that. You know? So they lived that life of traditions and customs and a routine life. You understand what I mean? Because in today's world, if you are not happy with anything, you have options. 
but people in that eras 50 years back didn't have the luxury of options right so they were limited in their <coughs> opportunities that's why that mindset also came up and very often you'll find a Kaili father has got a Kaili son because he has been brought up in a family of rituals and traditions and customs and routine and a 7 o'clock dinner, 8 o'clock go to bed you know, he has been brought up in that family so the Kaili father gives those qualities to the Kaili son you know you understand what I mean? because you know we are always modified by our habits so he has been brought up in that environment so Kaili father invariably has a Kaili son like that right? it's in the family like that so these are six very important qualities please please do remember that for Kelly family as well as mostly for Kelly car it's very routinistic you know you can just it's a polycrest so you can prescribe just for this emotional features very strong routine strong sense of justice strong sense of duty strong sense of principles now if you remember Costigam we have done Costigam is also a member of the Kelly family right but Costigam is very much affected by injustice. That's what's the important thing. And the revolt against injustice. Remember I shared with you Costigam? Costigam is always the fighting for justice, campaigner of justice. So Costigam is affected by injustice and the fight against it. Right? But in Kelis, they love to follow. They're not so much affected by injustice, Kelly Cup. They just like to follow the routine, routine, routine. That's what they love, what they enjoy. Reliable, dutiful. Another medicine? Reliable, dutiful? Calc. calc. Yes, very reliable, very dutiful. Difference with Kelly and Calc? Both are reliable, both are dutiful. But, 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 just on this point? Anxiety is fearful. Okay, could be. Could be, I agree. I'm, I'm not sharing, saying you're wrong, but. Calcaria will have to overwork to finish their duty. They are slow, sluggish, right? Prepared from oyster shell, calcaria. So they have to be, take extra time to finish that work. You remember lastminute.com, calcaria? So they have to work extra, extra, extra to finish that. Lastminute.com. But Kali, if you give them more work, they'll finish it in the desired time. Right? Because they're not slow. Kelis are not slow. Calcadia is slow. So they will take a long time to finish that work. You understand what I mean? A lot of Asians you'll find at Kelis. I don't find so much in US, but Europe as well, like you can, but Asians, a lot of Asians are Kelis, you know. Because again brought up with very few opportunities, very few needs, so they have to be, they have grown up with that lifestyle. Yeah. You know? True. But not in the US. Okay. What about India? Yes, loads, Sorry. loads. Yeah. Nine o'clock work, they come back at 5, 5 p.m. Yeah. from age 32 to age 60. They've done that every day, wow. Monday to Friday. They love that routine, they love that lifestyle traditions and customs and they have lived like that okay in India one thing is that earlier, like in the 90s and 80s, what used to happen is to be arranged marriages, right? The parents used to look for a groom or a bride and mm. it was decided by the parents. So the bride and the groom didn't have any say at whom you are going to get married. That was the dictum in India in 80s and 90s, right? Mm. Kelis say though the parents who are Kelis still in today's generation, they have that thinking process that, you know, what, whatever I think is good for my daughter or my son, I need to do like that. You know, she can't get married of her own. She can't choose a groom or she he can't choose a bride. 
So that kind of mentality, you know, that's old traditions. They have seen their parents, grandparents do like that. Arrange for them a marriage, arrange for them a bride or a groom. And they can't go out of the thinking mentality. I know there is a lot of parent discords between the parent and the children in India because of this. That father wanted me to get married of his choice, but I wouldn't want to, right? I had a discord with my parent. Either the father is affected due to that or the son is affected or the daughter is affected. You know, that kind. Sorry? Yeah? So, it's the Kelly mentality. Holding, doesn't have any scientific justification. Doesn't have any logical explanation. But it's just that has been done my, by my forefathers. Why should I deviate from that? That's the Kelly mentality. And whenever that... They cannot follow that routine, you know, somebody goes out of that tradition, somebody goes out of that custom, Kelly suffers. That's when the symptoms come out. My daughter got married. It was not a grief, it was just I couldn't take it. Yes. Yeah. She had an affair and she got married out of, out of her own. And Kelly starts suffering because of that, because he couldn't hold on to that tradition and custom that he so loved. You understand what I mean? So, that's one of the very common problems we face. Like another, you know, Muslim family, in Islamic families in India, I'm sure different parts of the world as well, people going out of the religion marrying, say, a Christian, say, a Hindu marrying someone else. And, you know, Kelly's, Kelly father gets really affected by that. Because going out of the norm, going out of the tradition, going out of the custom. And he gets symptom as a consequence of that. Always wants everything according to the traditions and customs and rituals which have been followed for such a long time. And if you go out of the box, he gets affected. Right? Unfortunate, but true. Strong principles, strong values, you know, bond, support. They like to go to the church every week, every Sunday. They like to go to the temple or whatever, you know, the religious thing they like to do. It. Quite religious they are. Because, again, that is, you understand that is related with traditions and customs. So, they are quite religious as well, Kelly's. A lot of soldiers you will find, a lot of people in the police, Military. army. Military. There are a lot of Kelly's, right? Strong sense of duty, you know. Now, so he has a strong sense of duty. He has a strong sense of values. Whenever I shared with you, whenever somebody goes out of that norm, what happens? Kelly suffers. And whenever Kelly suffers, he needs family. He needs support. He needs a group to overcome that. Although he is very traditional, he is very dutiful, but you know, whenever Kelly is affected, is depressed, he always finds his solace or he finds his satisfaction in his family. You know, I had a patient, his son died of leukemia, right? And he loved his family. He was a, chemist, he was a Mr. Kelly Cobb. His son died of leukemia. He was eight, eight or nine years old. And because his son, he had his only son and he died of leukemia. And after that, what happens? This Mr. Kelly, he started a leukemia support society. Mm. You know, like a trust to organize money for children who are suffering from leukemia. You understand what I mean? Because he doesn't have a support. He needs a support and that trust, that society was a support for him. And he gradually changed to causticum in course of time because you understand he... One, he loved to support, he loved to help people. So gradually that Kelly Cobb converted into a causticum. And you can find that so often. A Kelly who has strong sense of duty, strong sense of values, gets a grief, gets a disappointment and converts into a causticum. And tries to help everyone. You know, you see everywhere the Breast Cancer Support Society. Who is leading that, you'll find someone that his relative or his partner may have died of breast cancer. And he started after this. You understand what I mean? No, I do. Supported somebody started thalassemia society, and that's because his 
near or dear one may have died of thalassemia. Maybe he was a Kelly because he had a strong sense of value, strong sense of family and he lost that support and gradually he transformed into a causticum. You understand what I mean? These are two very close medicines to each other. So whenever Kelly has the support of the family, he is strong. He is strong mentally. He can follow his traditions, he can follow his customs, he can follow his rituals. But whenever that bond breaks, whenever the family something happens to it, like the daughter got married and went off without his permission, without his obligation, then he breaks down. You understand? That's when Kelly's symptoms starts. So what will be the causation here for Kelly, if you think as a causation? That deviation from the ritual, right? The deviation from the normal norm, the deviation from the custom, whenever somebody is going out of that, Kelly's symptom starts. You with me? So insecurity for family, support, groups, that's what I said. Breast cancer supports society, thalassemia supports society. Karika always tries and organize that. Nature, I'm sure you have this in the handout as well. Nature, yeah. Page 19. Sensitive to change. This is very, very, very important. Sensitive to change. We call that an orthodox or dogmatic. D-O-G, you know that this word, dogmatic? This is typical for Kelly. Not a dog. <laughs> dogmatic, that means they don't like change. In terms of traditions and customs, right? Another medicine, I don't like change in my job. I don't like to change my job. I don't like to change to something new. Another medicine? Like podium more. Because of low self-confidence, you know? They were feared that of say taking something new because of low self-confidence. You understand what I mean? Lycopodium also doesn't like change, but because that is he's low in self-confidence, that's why. But in case of Kelly, he doesn't like change in terms of traditions, customs, rituals, religions. See a lot of you know people who are settled in UK, settled in England, who had origins in Asia, right? Who had origins in Asia. <coughs> you know, say, I, I remember I had a patient who was, he was settled in UK and he saw his daughter coming back at 12 midnight after a disco, in a, you know, at a party, right? With another guy and he was from Pakistan. Right? And you understand, they are very, very orthodox, they are very traditional, they don't like their daughters to go out after 8 o'clock at night. And you are seeing this girl coming back at 12 midnight. And Akeli gets affected by that. You know, that my daughter, he's not, she's not following my rituals, she's not following my traditions, my customs. And she gets, he gets affected by it. And symptoms start as a consequence of that. They get depressed, they start developing symptoms. You understand what I mean? So sensitive to change, they don't like change. Anxious when alone, that can be there for Kelly Carb as well. Very anxious when alone. Dislike changes, very very important again. Changes they hate. Conservative, another very important word for Kelly's. Conservative and conventional. You understand conservative? Very, very inflexible, very, very inflexible. If you have a Kelly Cobb father or a mother, I'm sure you will understand that conservative and conventional. Which right? Sora. Sora, psychotic. Sora more, yes. Conservative and conventional. 